Hey phone dogs, Bo HD here, and as many of you guys know by now, the OnePlus One runs a custom version of CyanogenMod called CyanogenMod 11S, and it includes a ton of great features that really takes the simplicity of stock Android to a whole new level. So I want to go ahead and give you guys a little software tour highlighting some of the best CyanogenMod 11S features, starting with the lock screen. So immediately when you power this phone on, you are presented with the OnePlus One lock screen that gives you the ability to easily activate the camera app by swiping the right of the screen to the left. And it displays various information on the bottom, such as the weather and battery life, in addition to other notifications you might have. And all you have to do to unlock your device is simply swipe down. So it's very simple and definitely more simple than the previous stock Android lock screen that had the unlock key in the middle. What's also cool in Cyanogen Mod has to do with the notification tray that is highly customizable. So when you first swipe down to view your notifications, you get this handy little icon tray that allows you to toggle various settings, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and the torch. But then if we do a two finger swipe down or tap on the quick launch icon button in the upper right hand corner, you'll be presented with a ton of other settings you can toggle on or off, such as the brightness, the NFC, the rotation, and GPS, along with many other things. And what I like about this is that you can actually customize the icons you see here. So if you want to add or remove anything, you can just tap on the plus icon at the top and click add. And from there, you can add pretty much whatever you'd like, which is awesome. Now, if we dive into these settings, this is where you'll find the bulk of the customizable features. The one I first want to take a look at is the profiles because there's really a lot of good stuff here. For example, you can have a profile for each area of your life, whether it's for when you're in the car or at home or work. You can even have profiles for certain parts of the day, like at night or when you need to be silent. And if you'd like to add a profile for a category that isn't shown here, well, you can simply add a new profile by tapping on the plus icon down at the bottom. But if we dive into the settings of one of the profiles, you can see there's really a ton of various things you can tweak and override such as various connections and volume and system settings. And at the bottom, you can create app groups for the calendar, email, phone, and messaging apps, all of which basically can be deactivated or activated based on your profile you select. So if you want to activate GPS as soon as you switch to the automobile profile, then you can do so, which is really, really useful. Oh, and at the bottom, you can actually create a NFC tag to activate a certain profile along with a Bluetooth location trigger, which is really freaking awesome. So I'm just happy to see CyanogenMod take profiles to a whole new level here. Now, among the many other things you can change in the settings, you can toggle some rather unusual stuff, such as the screen. That's right, you can actually calibrate the screen from standard to vivid or to a custom appearance where you can manually adjust the hue, the saturation, the contrast, and the intensity. So if you're unhappy with how the display looks, chances are you can make it look much better by tweaking some of the settings here, which is something I haven't seen on any other major smartphones. So it's certainly nice to see here. On top of that, you can create advanced gestures to activate the camera app, change the music playback, and to activate the flashlight. To activate the camera, you can simply draw a circle when your device is asleep. And to activate the flashlight, you can draw a V. And if you want to play some music, you can swipe two fingers vertically, so there's just no question it's very useful, although you might have to watch out in case some of these features get activated in your pocket accidentally. But the last little tweak I want to show you has to do with the navigation buttons in that you can actually activate and disable them whenever you like. So say you're getting tired of software buttons and you would like more screen real estate, well, you can simply turn them off with a simple tap and vice versa, just like that. So as you can see, there's just a ton of customizable settings on the OnePlus One and Cyanogen mod. Pretty much everywhere you go, you'll find stock Android equivalent settings or better. I actually recently reviewed the OnePlus One camera, which has a ton of manual settings you can tweak and adjust however you'd like. So if you'd like to watch that video, I'll leave a link for you down below in the description bar. But let me know what your favorite Cyanogen mod feature is by leaving me a comment down below. And so with that said, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.